Hi folks, Damon here. I am a dev advocate on the EMR team and today I want to talk to you about EMR Studio. So we just announced general availability of EMR Studio yesterday, April 20th. And what I want to do, I just want to walk you through creating a studio and what you need to do that. So one thing to note about this is when you're creating a studio, there are a number of dependencies you need to have created first. And we're going to be putting out a blog post that has a uh, cloud formation template and how to get started with this. But I just wanted to go ahead and record a video as well. So in order to go ahead and do that, uh, the dependencies that you need, I do have a cloud formation template in my Decort demo code repository on GitHub. So if you wanted to follow along, you could go ahead and use that. But what this cloud Information template creates is a bunch of um, roles and a VPC for the studio to live in. So this is everything you need to run the studio, including VPCs, subnets, security groups, uh, everything you might need in order to do that, including different user policies that you can use in studio to grant your users different access to the studio. So let's go ahead and hop into the EMR console now that we've got our CloudFormation stack all set up. So in there, if you're familiar with the EMR console, you'll notice this shiny new uh, EMR Studio link up there. You can just go ahead and click Get Started. And what that does, that's going to go, that's going to log you into the studio um, and make sure that you have what you need to get it set up. So it verifies that you have AWS single sign-on enabled, which is required for EMR Studio, and also links you out to Service Catalog if you want to create some templates that you can use in your studio. And then you can go ahead and just create a studio. So let's give it a name. We'll call it Decorts Studio. I can give it a description that if I want. And then here's where you need to put in uh, the different roles or buckets that were created as part of um, that dependency stack that I mentioned. So this is already all created. So I'll go ahead and I'll select the roles that I want there. So my service role is EMR Studio service role. And my user role is EMR Studio user role. And then I just need to find the bucket really quickly. And so the bucket that I have here is my studio dependencies studio storage bucket. So this is where all the notebooks live when you save them. And then you need to select which VPC to put it in and just pick a few subnets that you want your um, your clusters and your studio to live in. And then when it comes to security groups, uh, you can have EMR Studio create a security group for you, or you can use ones that are created by the template. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So for my uh, cluster endpoint security group, I'll use the engine one. And for the workspace security group, I'll use that one. And then I go ahead and create my studio. And this goes ahead, creates the studio on our side, and then we need to add some users to the studio. So again, this is integrated with AWS SSO. So this gives me all the information I need for the studio. And I can go in here and easily add different users to the studio. So I've got two users in, um, in SSO here. I've got Damon Cortese, which is me, um, and an admin user. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this admin user to the studio. And you can see what it does. The default session policy there is administrator access. So let me go ahead and I can also add groups if I want to, but I'm just going to add this basic daemon user here and show you. I can go ahead, add that basic daemon user. And what I want to do is I want to assign a basic user policy to it and uh, EMR Studio. So we have different uh, policies in there and that defines what the users can do in the studio specifically as it relates to clusters. So a basic user can just connect to existing clusters. An intermediate user can use cluster templates through Service Catalog. And then an advanced user can create brand new clusters inside of EMR Studio. So let's go ahead, apply that policy. And that's how you can kind of pick and choose which different users you want to give access to. So that's logging folks into the studio. And then let's go back to the studio listing here. And we'll go ahead and log in. So I'll click this. And what this does, this will launch an off cluster um, studio login for me. So if I'm already logged into SSO, this will go ahead and sign me in. Uh, it integrates with Active Directory or other third-party service providers if you want. So here I am in my studio and there's a couple things to call out. I can um, monitor and manage my clusters, whether it's EMR and EC2 clusters. You can see I've got a few clusters over here. Um, those are all terminated at this point. And then if you have EMR and EKS clusters, I don't have any right now, but if you did, I could go in here and I could manage, manage the jobs on those clusters too. So that's one thing that EMR Studio gives you. And then in the dashboard, you can really easily create a workspace um, where you can write up code in your Jupyter Notebooks. So when you create a workspace, I'll call this you know, my notebooks or something. And you select a subnet that you want to put that in. And then here's where the, um, 
the different user policies come into play. So if you're just a basic user, uh, you can attach a workspace to an existing EMR cluster. There's where you can use a cluster template. So we've got a couple uh, cluster template examples there. And then if you wanted to, you could also create a brand new EMR cluster. And we just give you a really simple interface to spin up a cluster that's already pre-configured with everything you need. So that is getting started there. Uh, one thing I do want to call out, I've been experimenting with my, another template. So there is CloudFormation support for creating these studios. And again, that's back in my Decort demo code repository. And this is just a quick snippet of what that, um, what that cloud formation looks like. So you set up an AWS EMR studio, you specify the authentication mode and the name and all the service roles. So everything we did in the UI is available via cloud formation too. And then you can map uh, specific users to specific policies using cloud formation as well. So what that looks like, um, I just switched accounts into account, an account where I provisioned my EMR studio with this template. So let me go ahead and launch that. And so um, now I've got a big data studio in there, and this is a different, uh, different studio. And so you can see in here, if I go and create a workspace, I'm using a different, um, let's see, maps. And I wanna use that subnet. And I think I already have a cluster spun up in, and running. So let me go, oops. Um, so I have this matplotlib cluster um, that I could spin up if I wanted to, but I think I already have this running. So let me go ahead. There it is. I've already spun that up and I'm going to go ahead and create a workspace attached to that EMR cluster. And that's pretty much it. So you go in there, you create the studio, um, and then you create workspaces in the studio to manage all your different notebooks. Cool. So we see that we're attached now and I can just go ahead and click on my workspace name and that will launch my uh, Jupyter Lab environment. And so that pops up, that gives me an environment where I can start to write code using Python kernel or PySpark kernel or Spark Scholar or Spark R. So there's a bunch of default kernels that are built into uh, the Jupyter Lab instance there. The other thing I do want to call out is we've got a set of notebook examples down here. So this is pretty cool. When you click here, um, you can see there are a set of notebook examples that we've provided to kind of get you started. So maybe you're using HiveQL from data in S3. Maybe you want to use pandas and matplotlib. So what you do, just kind of click on that. And sorry, let me zoom back out. And then you can save this to your workspace. So you save it to your workspace. <clears throat> this creates a copy of the workbook. And then what you can do once you've saved it to your workspace, you can just go ahead and run it. So we're attached to the cluster where we've got our Python 3 kernel installed. And I'm just going to go ahead and run all of these cells. And so this will go through and run pandas and matplotlib. And you can see some of the output already starting to populate there. And so that's pretty much uh, how you can get started with those. You can save this to your, um, your workspace, modify it, commit it back to GitHub. So if you wanna see a little bit more in depth of what you can do inside of EMR Studio, check out my YouTube video um, intro to EMR Studio. I'll put a link here and thanks for checking it out. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.